Said, huge fight week. I saw you for another huge fight week not so long ago in Las Vegas for a heavyweight rematch. Um, just your reflections now that kind of the dust has settled on Wilder's knockout of Ortiz. Uh, I thought that Ortiz boxed a brilliant fight. I thought his game plan, his tactics, uh, his execution of it all was spot on. He, he didn't put a foot wrong. He boxed the, the part. He was literally punch perfect. Yeah, he lost the fight. You know, literally lost concentration for a split second, or maybe got a little bit complete, overconfident, too relaxed for a split second, whatever way you want to look at it. But he literally was a punch perfect performance by getting caught with that right hand and fight's over. I mean, he's, he, down to Wilder as just, I would say, well, he, no, he's definitely the hardest puncher that I've ever sat and watched ringside, definitely. Now, what you saying, gut instinct, repeat revenge, there's been so much of talk about the physique of both fighters, the mentality of both fighters, comments they're making. If you had to stand here right now, a couple of weeks ago, you said if someone put a bullet to you, Ruiz, has that changed or is it still Ruiz? So, I think that Anthony Joshua has probably gone away and made all the adjustments that he should have. I think he's coming lighter, I think that's a good thing. He's uh, concentrated more on boxing training as opposed to strength and conditioning. So, all the sound bites are really good. That said, I've also read lots of things about going into immediate rematches. Ron Borges wrote a really good piece in the Boxing Monthly. You know, and he cited the, you know, we know David Price against Tony Thompson, immediate rematch, you know, Werner Forrest, Shane Mosley. You know, lots of these fights, he said, more often than not, immediate rematches go the same way. Um, you know, I think Joshua is, will be a much better Joshua that went in against Andy Ruiz in the sense that he'd be totally focused. I th he, he was looking past Ruiz last time, definitely. There's all the talk about the, uh, Wilder, Fury, all this stuff. So he'd lost focus and, and he took his eye off the ball, he'd look past him and he wasn't mentally prepared for that kind of fight. He he'll be totally focused for this one. But it's, it's different now because now you've also got the doubts and the demons and Ruiz knows that he can hurt Joshua, that he has the power to hurt him. So even if Joshua's getting on top of Ruiz at some point in the fight, Ruiz will you know, maybe tough it out more than he, he would have done pr prior to this fight, do you know what I mean? Because he knows he, he can turn it around at one point. So this is a much more difficult fight now. Um, I, I, look, my, my heart says Joshua, but I, I've, I've got a bad, I've got a, I've got a bad, good feeling that Ruiz is gonna do it again. That is the case. Do you think Joshua should carry on? There's been so much talk about whether he should retire or not. I mean, that's a very personal decision for him. Whether he would want to, I don't know. Um, I suppose it depends. And I think it depends on the manner of a defeat. If, if he was to lose, I mean, if he goes and wins, all, all's forgotten, he's back in and everyone's talking wilder fury. If he was to lose uh, in a close points fight, then maybe he'll do a third one. You just don't, it depends. If he got beaten in similar circumstances to the last one, then, I wouldn't be shocked if he didn't box again. You know, he's earned so much money. I, I don't know, he, he would have to see where his head's at. I think it depends how he would lose, if he loses, and, and, and how he feels after it. it look, this, every, someone said earlier, it's a 50-50 fight, and that's probably true, you know, because Joshua could definitely win this fight. I could see loads of ways that he can. Um, but also, also, we know that Ruiz can win the fight, and, you know, I just think, you know, history says, going into an immediate rematch after a loss like that, Nine times out of ten, it doesn't normally go too good. All right, well, just uh, yeah, get your thoughts uh, a few days out from the fight now um, and uh, enjoy your time in Saudi Arabia. And uh, I'll catch a word after you. Whatever happens, Ruiz Joshua, uh, it's going to be a good one, though, whatever happens, yeah. Uh, whatever, whatever happens, man, but hearts are going to be, all our hearts are going to be in our mouths. We don't have an, any clue what's going to happen, to be honest. No, but the, uh, so, I mean, so much is riding on it, and it's just, uh, it's just like, you know, the landscape changed when that happened. A little bit, but there was an immediate rematch clause, so not quite. But if that was to go the same way again, you know, then it, then it really shakes things up. And also, if Joshua comes out and puts on a dynamic performance and wins, you know, it, it, it kind of puts things back to how they were before a little bit. So, look, it's, it's, it's going to be... It's going to be exciting. People be... It's going to be a squeaky ball or twitchy ball time, as they say, definitely. Absolutely. Thank you very much, Matt. Cheers.